Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shantari and I am back with another video. If you are new, welcome to my channel and if you are not, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. In today's video, I will be doing a full face of Wet n Wild products and also trying out their foundation for the first time. So if you want to see what products I got and how I like them, just keep on watching. Some of these products I've had before and some of them is going to be my first time trying it out. So let's go ahead and get it going. I am going to be trying out their foundation for the first time and then doing a wear test. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Coco. I don't know. Um, it, I had to pick this online so it might not be my color exactly. But I do want to try it out and let you all know how the formula is. How the formula is. Again, this is a very affordable foundation. So if it works, I'll be happy to recommend it. Especially for the price tag. So we're going to get to that in a minute. But let's go ahead and get started with the eyebrows. I usually do my brows off camera. But I am going to be using this Wet n Wild um ultimate brow micro brow pencil for my brows today so um i'm gonna go ahead and do it on camera since it is wet and wild now uh this brow pencil i have tried it um multiple times this is like my third or fourth one i really do like these um brow pencils they are they look like this they have a spoolie on one side and they do have a really slim um product here on this side so oh and this is in the color dark brown so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows so it is looking good so far I already knew I like this brow pencil, but I wanted to show you all how good it is. And it's super affordable, only maybe like uh, 4 or $5 or something like that. Okay, so this is how the brows are looking right now. I am going to clean them up, but since the um, concealer that I'm trying for the first time is also new, I'm going to wait till I put it on my face first. So let's get started with priming. I do have this um, Photo Focus 3-in-1 prepare fixer spray and then also um in rose and also the water drop primer they're kind of like the same except one is in spray form i have tried both of these before and i do like them i am gonna put both on this is how it looks and it comes out like this so i am gonna rub this in and again, both of these are in the uh, scent rose. I have, I really, for some reason, like stuff in rose scent. So if you do not like that smell, this might not be for you, but it's not too, too strong in my opinion. And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this on. And the sprayer is not too bad okay so it is pretty dried down so let's get started with the foundation again this is wet n wild photo focus um foundation in the color um cocoa it looks like this and uh when you open it it does have this spatula which i've never seen this before i know some people have said oh it's not sanitary but i feel like this is only my foundation i'm only going to be using it on my face so it's fine i'm just gonna put a little bit on this side and i'm just gonna put it on one side for now just to see how the coverage is i'm gonna start with a flat um foundation brush first and then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and the color is not too bad at all actually sometimes with like um, drugstore foundation I try to go in a little bit go a little bit darker because sometimes they be ashy but they're actually getting better Drugstore foundations are not coming to play, so, but this is still a good color. It does kind of have a little bit of a, some of like a, that, you know, that foundation smell, but it's not too overwhelming. So, 
so it's looking pretty nice and flawless so this is how this side of my face is looking it's not matte or anything like that so this might be it doesn't look too dewy it might be a natural finish so this is how it looks with foundation on this side and then this is how it looks without any foundation so as you can see it really did even on my skin tone so i am happy so far i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with my brush and then i'll blend it all in with a sponge Okay, so this is how it is looking and I'm honestly pretty surprised. Like I feel like I look very beautiful. The finish of this foundation, I usually like matte, but it's very, um, you know what? I actually had a freaking matte uh, primer that I got to try out with this that I had never tried before, but it's fine. Um, I had these other two primers, so that's fine. But the this finish is pretty nice. Drugstore foundations are coming up. I am liking the way it's looking so far, and I'm pretty sure if it if it works well, that it's gonna be um good just with the primers that I used, or even better with the matte primer if I want to mattify a little bit more. But I'm gonna go ahead and set everything down and see how it comes out. But it does look very nice. Um, I may need to get a lighter color for the winter, but for now, this is a very nice color on me. Next, I'm gonna go into this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I heard so many good things about the Photo Focus line from Wet n Wild in general, so I got quite a few of their products. I've never tried this out. Now, I am a little bit worried about the concealer because it does look a little bit dark, but we'll just try it out here. I'm gonna first um go ahead and clean up my under eye just so i can check out the color Okay, so my eyebrows are cleaned cleaned up and just by um, using a concealer on my eyebrows this does seem like it'll be more of like my skin tone concealer which is fine um, I can maybe use this for blemishes but I might need a lighter color for my under eye and so this is what the doe foot looks like it's not super big it's just like a standard um, well these days it's like a smaller size so I'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eye so this is what it's looking like it looks like a pretty good concealer color color not necessarily for super brightening if I want a super bright under eye but it still looks like a decent color for my skin this is in the color medium deep tan Okay, so I don't really know how the concealer performs, so I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and not let it dry down too much. So, so far, it is blending pretty well. Um, it's not giving me super, super coverage, but it does look really nice. Um, maybe if I let it sit a little bit longer, it might um, give me a little bit more coverage. But I still like the way that it is looking right now. For like an everyday product, it is pretty nice. And that is kind of what I'm going for today. So I'm not going to add any more. This is how it's looking. Again, it's not super bright. It's more like my skin tone. But I really do like the product. So yeah, this is how it's looking. I'm just gonna add a little bit on my eyes for a uh, primer for my eyeshadow because I don't have an eyeshadow base from Wet n Wild. To brighten up my under eyes a little bit, I am gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. Now, um, if you watch my Extreme haul, I did get this during that time. 
so i have not tried this yet but i've heard also good things about this um powder i've heard good things about this photo focus line in general so this is what it looks like when you take the paper off i'm just gonna shake it up a little bit so this is what the powder is looking like right now i'm gonna just take my sponge dip into it and then just go and um set my under eye i'm not gonna bake or anything like that i'm just going to press it into the skin where i put that concealer so you can see here it looks a little bit more like flawless and airbrush as to post of this side that's not set and it also took away some of that shine as well I usually use a uh, black radiance um, banana powder, but this is looking really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and set the other areas. I don't have a full, full face of Wet n Wild. Just we're going to just act like these two products are being used. Don't be mad. But to set my full face, I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match um, powder in the color Caramel Beige. Um, because I don't have a wet and wild setting powder. Although I don't have everything that is, um, wet and wild, everything that I will be using is drugstore. So if you want to get any of these products, you can usually get them at the same place. Um, and it's just two products that I'm using that are not from wet and wild. The next product is also not wet and wild is black radiance. Um, contour palette in the color medium deep also i do want to mention before i get too ahead of myself it is 3 38 p.m um, i did get kind of a late late start i'm gonna say that i got started at 3 30 just to be fair um i'm gonna try to wear this foundation for a couple of hours so you can see um the wearability of it base is looking so far i really like it so far it's looking good i am gonna come back uh to the face once i'm done with the eyes so these are the two wet and wild palettes that i picked up from my um extreme haul i have this one here in the color vi purple and then this one in the color stop playing safe so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use the VI purple today. That's just the mood that I'm in. This is how it looks open. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Uh, first, I'm gonna swatch this bigger color and this one. They're labeled as transition. So here we have this color right here. And then here's the, the other transition color. So this is more of a warm tone. This is more of a cool tone. So I am going to do this first row going over this way and then this row going over this way. Then they don't have any names. So. Okay, so those are the colors. They felt pretty buttery too, so I'm excited to get started. I'm gonna go into this color right here, labeled as transition and use it as my transition color. As you can see, even though I'm going in lightly, it's still showing up as a very pretty color for transition. So if you have my skin tone, or deeper this color will still show up on your skin which is good okay we have that um 
transition color down and it's looking really pretty honestly you could just use that color put on the wash of color for like an everyday look and it looks perfect so but we're gonna try to use a few more colors so i'm gonna take this more bullet shaped brush and then go into this color right here just to deepen up the corner go into this flat brush here by do care I'm gonna go into this deep purple right here just um, for the edge and it is showing up really good I haven't wet it or anything and I'm just putting it right kind of by that darker color but layering it a bit layering it so that it blends in really well I'm gonna flip it over and then go into this color right here. And I'm gonna just put it on the center of the eye. I do wanna see how it looks sprayed. So I'm gonna spray my brush just to see if that makes any difference. It does show up a little bit more vibrant when I spray it. But if you want a more subtle look, either way, it still looks very nice. I'm going to go into this color right here on the inner portion of my eye. Ooh, that color is pretty vibrant when it's sprayed. I didn't try it, I didn't try it without it being sprayed, but it looks very pretty. I'm gonna go back into my blender brush and that back into that transition shade and then just go above the color just to make sure that transition shade is still there. eyeshadow palette for like three to five ninety nine it's like very affordable and the eyeshadows perform really well i do have these mega mega liners i have used the regular one a lot um but i do have this metallic one it's like a black but uh let's see so it does have like a little metallic shimmer in it so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this to line my eyes i put the liner on this is what it looks like I like it. I didn't want it to be too dark or dramatic. It just looks just fine the way it is. Next, I'm going to go into some mascara. I'm not going to put on any lashes today because my eyes need a break. But I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This is very used and abused. I really do like this. And it's very affordable as well. I got this for a couple of dollars at Walgreens. So, and it works really well. So this is how it is looking compared to this eye. It gives it like a lot of volume as you can see. I'm going to turn to the side. Compared to this eye, it looks really good. And that was just with one layer. Let that dry down and then go ahead on this eye. My eyelashes like to be unruly, but this is how it is looking. It's looking really good to not have any lashes on. I don't think you should have to go out and spend a lot of money on mascara, especially if you're just going to put lashes on. But if you want your eyelashes to look good by themselves, this is still a very good option. Okay, so I finished up my lower lash line and I added a tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face now. I have this Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I do believe I try and finish the matte one, but I just have this natural one left. So I'm going to spray my face with this. Ooh, that was kind of strong. The smell and the sprayer. So be careful. Mm. 
the smell is not very appealing but we're gonna let that dry for blush i do have this um wet and wild ombre blush it looks like this i got this maybe a couple hauls ago and i never tried it out so i figured this would be the perfect um time and then this is in the color my tie buy you a drink and it looks like this ombre like a more um orangey color and then like a champagne color here but for a swatch it looks like this it has shimmer in it it's not showing up that good on camera but i am going to go ahead and pop this on my cheeks just to see how it goes and y'all know i like a lot of blush so this is not necessarily giving me too much color it does have sheen i would prefer if it had more of an orangey color the sheen is showing up. This might be a good topper. Okay, so I didn't like how super shiny it was without any color. I added a little bit of orangier blush on my cheeks just to have a little bit more color. And then for highlight, I'm going to go into my fave, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Pearls. I'm going to take this Milani um, highlighting brush here and highlight my high points. This is how we are looking. The foundation is still looking very nice. For the lips, you already know I got a lot of Wet n Wild lip products for my last haul. But I am going to try to do a more pinky lip to match my eyes. So unfortunately, I'm going to put the nudes down. I have this uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipstick in the color Wine Room, which goes super good with the eyes. And then I have Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte in the color Bare It All, which looks like this. So what I think I'm gonna do is line my lips with this and then pop this one in the center. So using Wine Room to line my lips. Even though it's matte, it's still a pretty creamy color. And then I'm gonna take bear it all in the center looks super good with the eyes but i want to try out this uh liquid cat suit uh by wet n wild in the color peach stole and then i'm just gonna put that on top how it is looking a very cute barbie pinky color it goes good with the eyes i'm gonna go change my clothes really quick and then i'm gonna come back in with the first check-in to let you all know how i like the products and then how the foundation is looking so be right back it's only 4:26. uh it's only been about an hour so yeah the final look it looks very soft very summery i'm feeling it okay so this is how we're looking at the one hour check mark. I'm going to check back in with you all later to show you how the foundation is holding up. But so far, as far as the products, I pretty much like everything. The only thing that I didn't really care for too much is the blush. Um, I feel like the it didn't really give me that much color and it was just shiny. I feel like if I put on a deeper color and put this on top, it'll look nice. But by itself, I don't really care for it um everything else i really did like i still um haven't tried this um uh stop playing it safe palette yet but if it's anything like the other one which it should be because it's the same formula i know i'm gonna like it because this eyeshadow performed pretty well especially for the price so yeah um 
go ahead and leave in the comments how you like the look so far if you are looking to try any of these wet and raw products and then i'll check in with you all a little bit later hello friends i am back and i'm doing a quick little check-in um it is currently 8 27 so i've had this foundation on for six hours this is how it is looking i have not blotted um there's no bright lights in here but it still looks really good um i really do like how this foundation held up i would definitely recommend it i'm not even oily or anything like that so yeah so far this foundation is definitely getting a thumbs up for me it's currently 11 36 as you can see so i've had this on for about nine hours a little bit over nine hours as you can see this is how the foundation is looking um it is not oily at all i usually get very oily in my t-zone area and it's still looking very nice i do want to mention i wasn't really outside in the elements i did go to my mom's house i did have a few drinks but i wasn't outside or sweating too bad so this really did hold up for a decent amount throughout the day um i really do like this foundation and the products that i use i feel like it'll be good for everyday use um it made my face look flawless it was nice coverage and most of all the price tag was very affordable so overall i would definitely recommend this foundation and concealer and most of the products that i tried i hope you all like this full face of wet and wild and like um this vortex that i gave you all as you can see i'm super tired but i appreciate you all for sticking with me and watching my video let me know in the comments how you all feel about me doing foundation reviews i really just want to try out so many of them and new concealers and just to see how they wear throughout the day and how they work with my skin but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Sean Cherie. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.